everyone, Scott here. In this video, I'm gonna cover a new method for finding really good relevant keywords you're gonna to want to target with Amazon PPC during your launch. This will help you rank your new product better for the right keywords so you can start getting more organic sales. And the new best part about this method is that it requires no third-party software to do the keyword research, so you don't have to worry about signing up for another software subscription. And later on, I'm also gonna give some tips on how to set up the PPC campaigns for best results. I should mention as well that the strategy I'm gonna show you to find good products and keywords to target with PPC can also be used for products that you're already selling on Amazon. So you're selling on Amazon but don't have a product launch coming out, that's totally fine. This video will still be useful to you. For those new to the channel, I'm Scott. I've been selling private label products on Amazon for over six years and have done millions of dollars in sales. If you enjoy content like this video, be sure to take a moment to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future content. Now let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing I want to go over is a key concept for you to understand during a product launch, and that concept is relevancy. You might have been taught before to start with an auto-targeting campaign first or to use all match types like broad, phrase, and exact match, but I don't like to do that. And the reason why is that when you're launching a product on Amazon, Amazon doesn't have any data or sales history for your product. They don't know what keywords you convert best for. From your product category, your title, your listing, your bullet points, product description, all that, they can kind of guess uh, where your products are for what keywords you should be ranking for. But I don't know about you, but personally, I don't like to leave that up to Amazon. So in the very beginning of my launch, I only focus on the most relevant and most important keywords and products to target. So Amazon is fed the exact data they need to rank my product organically for the keywords I need to rank for to make sales. So now let's get into the heart of this video, which is the keyword research. And be sure to stay tuned as well, because later I'm going to be giving some important tips on how to get the best results out of your PPC campaigns. The tool we're going to be using is called Product Opportunity Explorer. It's a tool that's created by Amazon and can be found in your navigation menu under growth and then Product Opportunity Explorer. I'm pretty sure most people have access to this. If you don't have access to this yet, I'd go ahead and contact seller support and see if they can give you uh, access for it. There's a ton of interesting data that can be found in this tool. So I recommend playing around with it no matter what and looking at all the different data that can be found in it. But for our purposes, the first thing you want to do is search your niche. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can do that here by putting in a search term right here, or you can actually go through here and find it through these categories. So I think the easiest way to do it is to just go ahead. If you know your product, you probably know a major search term for it. So put in probably the most relevant search term you can think of for your product and put it in here. So for this example, I'm going to be using a grip strength trainer. You can see it popped up right here. And then you want to go down here and you can see these different uh, kind of product categories, product niches here, like pull up grips, iPad and hand holder, you have grip strength tester. And right here is the main one I was looking for is the grip strength trainer. So let's go ahead and click on that. There's a lot of really interesting info that can be found in here on different niches that give things like the search volume for the niche, the average price, uh, how much the search volume growth, the units sold, things like that. So again, I've mentioned this a couple of times, but definitely play around in here. It's really good if you're doing product research. It's originally what this tool is meant for to help you with product research to find new products to launch. But I found a way to find some really good keywords to target for PPC. So what we want to do is come down here and click on search terms. And that will give you the search terms in this niche. It'll give you the search volume, uh, search growth, all that type of info. And then you have all these keywords right here that are super relevant to your niche. As far as I'm aware, as of right now, there's not an easy way to export all this info into a spreadsheet. But it's not too hard. It's not a ton of keywords here. So it's not too hard to just go ahead and copy and paste these keywords into a spreadsheet. It makes it easy to then copy and paste into your campaigns when you're uh, starting your PPC campaigns. But the first thing you should do is go through here and eliminate any keywords that are not relevant to your product. Because again, when you're doing product research, you want to focus on the most relevant uh, keywords for your products. We're trying to tell Amazon, this is what my product is, and this is what I want to rank for. And then later you can always expand to other keywords and, and target more broad keywords and higher volume keywords, things like that. So let's go through here just as a quick exercise and figure out if there's anything that I don't like in here. So grip strength, hand strength, that all looks good. Grip strength is too broad in my opinion for a launch keyword because that could pull up a ton of different products. So I'd go ahead and skip that one. Uh, grip, again, way too broad. Hand grip, too broad. Um, grip trainer, that seems fine. 
You can also see as well to the right, they'll give some pictures of some products that are relevant uh, that pull up for that search term. So you can get an idea of whether uh, that keyword is going to be relevant for you. And I'd also look for other keywords that, again, are not exactly your product. So let's say you had a metal grip strengthener and one of the keywords specifically said a plastic grip strengthener. So you get rid of, you know, or at least not get rid of, but just eliminate the plastic grip strengthener as a keyword to use during your PPC. If I'm using a squeeze uh, hand grip uh, strengthener, I don't want to do like a finger uh, grip strengthener that you might use if you're playing guitar or something like that. So again, I, I know I've mentioned this a couple of times, but it is really important for the launch is that you focus on keywords that are exactly relevant to your product and aren't too broad that are going to pull up too many different products that are not exactly relevant to yours because you want to convert well. Conversion rate is extremely important during your launch. The higher your conversion rate, the more your sales and in turn, the higher your ranking. And then if you're interested in products to target with PPC and come back here and you have products right here and you can find these are all, you just eliminate some of the ones here that aren't relevant to your product but you'd come through here and select all of these. Uh, it's really easy. You can just get the ASAN by clicking here. It'll take you to the listing. And then once you're at the listing, you can get the ASIN from either the URL or you can scroll down and the ASIN is right here. And that's what you would put into your, uh, when you create the Amazon PPC campaign, that's what you would use. So that's how you'd find super relevant keywords for your product to use during the launch phase using the Product Opportunity Explorer. Now let's get into some tips on setting up the PPC campaigns. So now I wanna give you some quick tips on setting up the campaigns for product launches. So I'm going through here, of course, you can name your campaign. I recommend coming up with some type of naming convention that makes sense to you, and then keeping that naming convention every time you create new campaigns, it just makes it easy to you know, sort the campaigns, it makes it easy to see what is what. Uh, I recommend adding it to a portfolio for your product, create a portfolio for that particular product so you can group all your PPC campaigns together. Start date, end date, that's up to you. For budget, that's gonna be dependent on your you know, niche, how expensive the cost per click is. If you're not familiar, you could start with something like $10, $20 a day. If you are familiar with how much your cost per click is, like let's say it costs you uh, $2 per click. Well, you wanna give yourself enough room to get enough clicks to get sales. So you might start with something like $20 budget. And again, it's important to remember, just because you have that budget does not mean you're necessarily gonna spend that much money. Um, you can also do it another way, which is take your total budget for advertising. Let's say your total budget is $100 a day, and you might split that budget between the different campaigns you're going to make. For me, I recommend at least $10 a day. I don't like to go under uh, $10 a day because it just doesn't give you enough clicks. Most often, unless you're getting like super cheap clicks, which is pretty hard to do these days. I also switch this to manual targeting. And then we get down into the campaign bidding strategy. So you'll see a couple opinions here. You definitely want to use either dynamic bids down only or fixed bids. Now, personally for launching, I prefer fixed bids. And the reason why is that Amazon is not gonna make any adjustments to the bid that you put. With the dynamic bids down only, you'll see that they'll lower your bids in real time when your ad may be less likely to convert for a sale. Well, because your product is brand new and they don't have any sales data for you, it's gonna be hard for them to judge when to lower your bid and when not to. So I just like to use fixed bids. You don't have to mess with it. And then you can explore later using dynamic bids down only once you have more sales data to see if that's able to get you a better cost per click. And then I also want to go over the adjustments per bid. So when you're launching a product, you want to make sure that you're getting enough sales and the most visibility or the most uh, you know clicks on uh, PPC ads is going to be in the top search results. So you wanna make sure that you're getting into those top search results. So when people search the keyword, they see your product up on top and don't have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page to even see your product. Because at that time, you're not gonna be probably, most likely not gonna be ranking organically uh, up in those top positions. So come down here, you can start this with whatever you'd like. I mean, you could just do like 20%, you could even go as high as like 50% a bid. That means if you bid a dollar, uh, it will raise your bid to a dollar fifty. If you do a fifty percent increase, it'll raise it to a dollar fifty uh, for just the top results. Uh, you might have to adjust this later and come back and see if you know if you're not getting. You check your uh, reports and you're not getting any uh, top search uh, results. You want to go ahead and 
you know, increase it until you're getting those top of search results because that's super important for um, uh, product launches. And then once you've selected the product you're gonna be targeting, you come down here. So if you're doing keyword targeting, you'd have this selected. If you're gonna be targeting products, you'd have this selected. When you're very, very first starting, uh, if you're going to do product targeting, I'd keep the selection of products really small, maybe 10 or five uh, products or less. Make sure it's just relevant ones and not dedicate too much of your budget to it. But if you want to keep it simple, I just start with the keyword targeting for your launch and then you can add, start adding in product targeting as well. And then we get down here to the keyword targeting section. You can go ahead. If this is a new product, it's most likely you don't have any of your own PPC data on it. So you can go ahead and just start with suggested bit. And then this is an important part here, which is during a product launch, you wanna make sure, like I mentioned a million times already, we're just focusing on relevant keywords, the most relevant. So since we've gone through all this trouble of doing product or uh, doing keyword research, we wanna make sure that we're only getting uh, search or ad placements for those keywords that we selected and not other random ones. If you do a hand a grip strengthener and then you put it as a phrase match, you could get a plastic hand grip strengthener, even though yours is metal, right? If you're, uh, so for with a phrase and broad, you can start adding in these variables to where you could be getting, uh, showing up for keywords that you're not super relevant for. So during a launch, we go ahead, we're gonna use exact only. And then you need to go here and enter your list of keywords. So there's a couple ways to do this. I recommend keeping your ad groups small, okay? So the reason why you wanna keep it small more easily controlled uh, on your bid. So something like maybe five or less keywords per ad group. Some people will use only one keyword uh, per uh, campaign if you want to do that. Um, but if you do separate the keywords by ad group, I recommend uh, ordering them by search volume. So we indicate the highest search volume keywords together in an ad group. So maybe the top let's say three or five keywords that have the highest search volume. And then you're going to want to, you know, the next maybe medium search volume and then lower search volume, or you might have, so in that case, you might have three campaigns or you might end up with two campaigns. It just depends on how many keywords you're targeting. But for a launch, I would not recommend targeting more than like, let's say 20 keywords, probably like 15 or less. Cause again, you want to be super relevant only. And then of course, later you can start expanding uh, to these other uh, keyword targets. And then the next section would be negative keyword targeting, which we don't have to worry about when we're doing exact match because we're only getting uh, showing up for keyword phrases that we put in there. So we don't have to worry about putting in a bunch of negative keywords for these particular uh, campaigns. Then you just come down and launch the campaign and then go back through the process for however many campaigns you're gonna be doing. And then once you've started on your launch, maybe let's say like a week, maybe two weeks into your launch, you're starting to see some positive results for your ranking. Uh, then you can go ahead and start expanding into other keyword strategies. There's too much to go through to cover in just this video, but you can look at expanding the number of keywords that you're targeting. You can look into doing product targeting. If you're not doing that already, you can look into doing a, like a broad match or an auto match uh, campaigns, things like that. But again, for the very beginning, we're going to be focusing on exact match only. And if you get into your launch and your product is just not converting you can start looking at things like, is your pricing competitive? Do you need to add a coupon? Um, do you need to increase your top of search placements? Do you need to uh, make a better listing? A lot of people think they have a great listing, but it's really not. Maybe you need better pictures. Maybe you need a better copy, better title. So if you're not converting for the most relevant keywords that you uh, need to be converting for, there's probably some other problem that needs to be addressed. So start looking there and seeing if anything can be adjusted or tweaked. I also did a video that goes in depth into PPC keyword research for product launches using Helium 10. And I really recommend checking that one out as well. These two strategies can be combined to find the absolute best keywords to use during your launch. I'll try to include a link to that video up here somewhere, but for some reason it doesn't work out. I'll definitely have it linked in the video description down below. Launching is extremely important for Amazon sellers. If you mess up the launch, it can hurt the success of your product and make it harder to rank organically for those top positions. And currently PPC is one of the absolute best ways to increase the organic rank of your product. So I hope you found this video beneficial. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate it. And I got a lot of great content coming down the pipeline. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.